hey y'all what is up and welcome back to my channel for another part of the sims 2 let's play pleasant view so today we are back with the dreamer family and mr darren here is enjoying his little stay at home dad life raising mr damon um while cassandra is out making the money she, you know she doesn't mind at all she loves you know being a scientist and you know following after her dad that way and of course she wants um derek Oh my god, Darren, okay, I don't even know their names, Darren, to fulfill his dreams and being a painter, and that's something that, you know, he wants to do. Um, so, you know, he has the opportunity to do that now, that he doesn't have to stress about money before, um, so he has just been, like, chilling out around the house, painting. He's kept the house very clean, which I'm so impressed with him. I really am. And Damon has been a sweet little angel. I'm thinking that this part he will age up into a toddler, which I'm excited to see what he looks like. But it looks like Cassandra has returned from work and she's struggling. So it looks like she's going to use the restroom. And I'm not really sure what I want to do with them in this part. Um, honestly, I'm just, I'm ready to get back to the, the young adults <laughs> and college. I just... It's just so much more fun to me to play with them in college, but I don't want to neglect our other families because, you know, we're actually coming to a wrap, if you think about it, with this Pleasant View series. Um, I do want to do a season two later, but um, I do want to, like, hop around to either Pleasant View or, uh, oh my gosh, or Oasis. Not, oh my god, oh my god, oh my gosh, what am I even talking about? I mean, Veronaville or... Strange Town. Oh my gosh, I'm getting all my Sims games messed up. I'm getting a little too overwhelmed with the Sims variety on my channel. Um, but I, I do want to go to uh, probably Strange Town next and kind of start from there before I come back to Pleasant View. But I do want to, you know, spend a little bit time, a little bit of time. I can't talk, y'all. This is, this is starting horribly. Uh, but I want to spend a little bit of time, like I'm trying to say, with all of our other families that we've been working on. Um, looks like she wants to get a kitten. So I think that's something that we need to do. Hey stranger, I thought you might have been abducted by aliens or something. Oh my gosh, Mary Sue, I forgot they're friends. And I, I neglect my Sims friends a lot. I don't mean to. I just get so preoccupied with family stuff. I'm sorry, girl. Um, but anyways, I think that's what we need to do. We need to come down here first, though, and probably serve some lunch. So, I mean, I guess we can make, like, hamburgers or something. And then, what are you doing? He's out here trimming the bushes, which is which is good. He can't reach those, but it's probably good that, um, I'm very excited that I tried the nature activity. I'm, I'm happy for you. Um, <laughs> I want them to adopt a kitty. I think that would be fun. I don't think any of our Sims in this Let's Play have pets. So, how do we do that? Do we call services? Oh, okay, wait. Damon needs some attention, so let's have Darren come up here. And he's obviously a, more attentive than me. Uh, so, let's cuddle him a little bit and see what he's wanting. I don't know. How long ago was it that we last fed him? I'm not really sure. Okay, I guess he is hungry. But anyways, yeah, we're going to adopt a kitty. Uh, I think that would be fun. And then I do want to go on a mountain vacation with them. Um, but not anytime soon. We just went on vacation to the tropics, uh, Tweaky Island or whatever with the Pleasant family. So, what are you doing? Walk away? Oh, I guess we're in his way. Okay, well, I guess our child is the priority here. <laughs> and we'll let Darren feed him first and then we'll... Then we'll resume cooking our hamburgers here. Hopefully he's not in our way now. All right, I guess we can cuddle with Damon and then go put him back in the crib and then try to adopt that kitten real quick. And then I want Cassandra to obviously go up there and pay a little bit of attention to her son, which, you know, I think she she likes working, but at the same time, she's a family oriented sim she really is and she's always wanted to get married and have a child and now that she's finally got that she's also the one making the money too um she doesn't want just the fact that she's a goth to you know she does she wants to be conservative i guess with her money is what i'm trying to say because she she does have money right she has a ton of it um She's inherited a lot, but she wants to save it for Damon, and of course she wants to give some to Dirk. Uh, he doesn't know that yet, but she wants to make sure her family's taken care of. But she also wants to work and, um, 
you know, be a good example to her kids. Um, Damon's birthday is only a day away. It seems like only yesterday the little bundle of joy came into this world. Oh, how quickly they grow up. Good. Okay, so I do want him to age up into a toddler. So that's good. That should happen before we end this part. But we want to do a pet adoption service. All right, so we're going to adopt a cat. I want to adopt, oh my God, Allegra, that's so cute. A little black cat, super creepy. Okay, so these look like adult cats, and these are all kittens. I like Allegra. Okay, so she looks like a genius. Um, she's not aggressive, which is good, so she's more cowardly. Um, finicky, which is, I guess, opposite of pig pen, which is neat. I don't know. I kind of like it. So if we're going to adopt Allegra, are you sure you want to adopt Allegra? Yes, for sure. I'll come right away to drop off your pets. That means you're probably going to have to buy some pet stuff. I don't know. I feel like, yeah, I haven't, since I've been playing The Sims 2, I don't have a family with a pet. So I don't even remember how to take care of pets in The Sims 2. <laughs> but he's hungry. Oh, wait. I forgot they put the food on the table. So let's come in here and eat. And they'll be dropping Allegra off. Oh, my gosh. That's so cute. And... Damon will be aging up shortly. Okay, we're going to keep the name Allegra. Just because it's different and I like it. Why not? I just can't be bothered to think of another name. Alright, so Allegra is here. Okay, so Darren is coming out here to pick up Allegra. And I guess take her inside. What's he doing? He's snuggling her. Oh, sweet. Alright, so real quick... Before I forget, because I tend to get distracted, I want to go ahead and get the pet stuff that we're going to need for her. I feel like she would be a little princess and have this really nice bowl here. Um, I guess we can put it right here. Is it going to be in the way of the phone? Maybe we'll put it right here. Yeah, we'll put it there. We need to get a litter box. We'll put that over here. Um, let's see. We'll get a pink one. All right. And we'll put her little cat thing over here. Her little scratching post slash throne room <laughs> over here out of the way in the computer room. Um, I guess we can put this little toy over here too for her to play with. We'll stick it right here on this wall by her bed. All right. I think that's pretty much it. It's everything, right? What is this? I forgot. What, what is this? Like a little, oh my god, it's like a little playpen for him, right? Oh, yeah, that is so cute. I wish we had that in The Sims 4. It's like the little details like that. That is so freaking cute. Okay, so I think we have everything that we need for Allegra. So, can we bring Allegra here? I don't know. Can kittens climb up the stairs, like, on their own? Or is it like The Sims 4? You have to make sure you pick them up and take them up the stairs. I'm not really sure. I love how Cassandra was the one that wanted a cat. And then, of course, just like she was the one that wanted a child, <laughs> Darren's taking care of both of them. But that's okay. Um, she's been working, so we're just going to have her get her fun up a little bit. And I do want her to come over here and pick up Allegra. All right. And did you not eat, or was that just it didn't satisfy you? Okay, whatever. So we're going to have him eat, I guess, some more because I didn't fill up his hunger, which is so annoying. Okay, so she got a kitten, but her want is not, I guess, because she didn't call to get the kitten which is annoying because it was the main reason I did that. But you know what? It's okay. Let's have her come over here and pick up Allegra and snuggle her. Alrighty. Let's put Allegra down now because our girl's about to pass out. But before we go to sleep, we have to come over here and hold a Damon. It looks like he is crying, so we probably need to give him a little bit of attention since we have yet to do that and like I said he will probably age up into a toddler hopefully by the end of this part I'm not really sure what time that'll be I'm guessing the same time yesterday as what they told us today um when they mentioned it that he was gonna be aging up you know what I'm talking about but we're gonna put away these leftovers here and it looks like everybody's ready to go to bed um I guess we just need to like I guess he's not hungry because he kind of just ate. So I guess we can like cuddle with him. Maybe he just needs some attention. And let's have Darren come upstairs, not go to bed right now. And I guess use the restroom and take a shower. And then he can go to sleep. Um, yeah. And oh, look at her. <sighs> but anyways, do y'all remember the part where Dirk was rejected from private school? Uh, Cassandra just... <sighs> 
she's proud of him. She really is. You know, he's in college now and everything. And, you know, they have, like, that long talk about how you don't have to be in private school. It's just, yeah, it's beneficial, but you're intelligent, and, you know, you can make it without it. And he did, and she misses him. She really does. Um, they wasn't that close, but they were beginning to, you know, I guess progress in their relationship as, okay, he's he's crying. <laughs> Um, as mom, stepmom, and stepson, and yeah, I think they was really beginning to just, like, really enjoy each other, and just, like, respect each other, and, like, she really does miss him now that he's gone, and she's just proud of him, so I think we need to call him, and make sure he's doing good, for sure. All right, so I think he's good now after we change his diaper, so let's clean up, because that's gross. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and put a trash can in here, because why not? I think that'll be a real helpful. We don't have to walk all the way downstairs. And then let's have them go to sleep, and then hopefully tomorrow, Damon will age up, and we'll just kind of see what we can get into, because it is Saturday. Alright, so I've been playing a little bit off camera because I've been patiently waiting for it to be Damon's birthday, but instead, Miss Allegra has already had a birthday. So our little kitten is now a full-grown cat, and she's beautiful, but it was like really, really fast, and Mary Sue, why are you so obsessed with us? I'm sure you're busy, but I just thought I'd remind you to keep in touch every once in a while. <laughs> okay, we'll call Mary Sue. I mean, I thought you were supposed to be like enjoying vacation. I mean... Technically, she's still on vacation because I never brought them back home, but, you know, um, I don't know. Maybe she's just missing home. Yeah, Cassandra, you really need to call her. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I'm waiting for it to be Damon's birthday so we can age him up because I really don't want to end this part until we do that. And y'all, I just, I hope you don't mind these parts where we just kind of hang out with the family and see what they're up to and all that fun sorts of stuff. You know, there's not really much storytelling, not much drama going on with some of these families. So, I hope you guys don't mind that. It can't always be, like, crazy fun drama all the time. You know, we've got to have some chill parts. And right now, I just feel like the Dreamer family, they're just very chill. They're very chill right now. They're, like, in a very chill stage, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um... Also, Cassandra became best friends with Damon, which was really cute, and she also called Dirk to check in with him a little bit and see how he's doing, and he did ask for his dad to please call him, and somebody's calling us right now, so let's see who is calling. Okay, hey dear, and is Cassandra available to talk? I'm not really sure who you are, but yeah, sure, I guess we can have her talk with you for a bit. I was going to call my son, but that's fine that's fine too okay let's go over here and clean up while she chats but yeah i do want darren to call dirk and check on him because they do have a pretty close relationship and i want to maintain that um, i wish we could invite him over for his birthday uh his birthday his, his brother's birthday but you know unfortunately i never really know when that's going to happen it could be in the middle of the night it could be tomorrow it just said a day so we're just we're gonna see it might not even happen in this part you guys okay 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 okay. so damon started screaming and i thought he needed a bottle but darren is going up here and it says help with the birthday so i think he's about to age up into a toddler okay so we're just a bouncing him we're just a waiting but they just became best friends so that's cute <laughs> but yeah still waiting so i mean maybe do we maybe if we sit him down on the ground Maybe that'll cause him to age up. I'm not really sure what triggers him to age up. It said help with birthday, but nothing's happening. And I really don't think just throwing him on the ground is the solution to the problem. <laughs> um, yeah, probably not. Okay, let's just hold him and just, I guess, wait. I mean, we're just waiting. I'm getting sick of waiting, but whatever. Okay, I gave up. Nothing was happening. He just started crapping on himself. So he changed his diaper and put him back in the crib. And I guess when it's time for him to age up, okay, maybe now is the time. Help with birthday. Okay. Round two. Better luck this time. <gasps> Yay! He looks like a little man in his little tuxedo. <laughs> I mean, how freaking cute is he? Oh my gosh, that's an interesting choice outfit, but I mean, technically he does have that goth blood in his uh veins. Damon just grew up from a baby to a toddler. Oh, 
and snuggle him. Okay, I really want to give him a new outfit. That's just a little strange. <laughs> Look at him smiling. He is the freaking cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god. Cassandra just cannot be bothered. She already wants to have another baby, which I was thinking about doing. <laughs> so, um, we might. We might have to do that, but um, she needs to take a bath. I want to go ahead and do that real quick. And, I mean, so does he. Wow, okay. It's also 8 o'clock. It's kind of too early for y'all to both be going to sleep. How do you change his outfit? How do we do that? I don't know, but I guess we can, like, tickle him. Teach him to walk while we wait on Cassandra to get out of the bath so we can... Um, bathe him because he needs a bath too before he goes to sleep and I love how Allegra thinks she owns the place. It's so typical of a cat, you know. I just think they just own the place and she's all up in the bed taking up all of their space. I mean, okay, she's just gonna kick him out. Like It's, it's like that now, is it Allegra? Alright, I want you to stop teaching him how to talk. Um, I want... How do you... I want to give him a new outfit, but I don't know how. How do you change him into another outfit? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to look it up. <laughs> if anybody knows and you want to give me a little hint, feel free to do so. I'm going to have her come over here and just give him some cuddles. And I want her to be the one to bathe him. Y'all, in all seriousness, I'm obsessed with this little boy. <laughs> he is so cute. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. I just had to take some pictures <laughs> for my thumbnail, but we're gonna bathe Damon real quick before I put him in the bath. Yeah, but for real, if any of you guys know how to change a toddler's outfit before I get around to Googling it myself in the next part, drop it down in the comments below. That'd be really helpful and I'd appreciate it very much because as cute as that tuxedo is, it's just kind of like... Okay, it's a little much, don't you think? I mean, we're extra. We're those extra parents. Oh, y'all, I think that Cassandra has baby fever ever since <laughs> oh, she had Damon and especially him aging up. It's just really put her ovaries into, like, overdrive here. So we're going to come over here and put Damon in his crib, put him to sleep, and then I want Darren to kind of relax a little bit, and I want to try for another baby. I know I was really just kind of, like, debating it, and for a minute I was like, you know what, no, 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 no. We're not going to have another baby because she's not too far from being an elder herself. And Darren is very, very close to being an elder. And he's going to be like a really old dad, but who cares? It's fine. Freaking Allegra, get out of our way. She's like, so. Oh, oh, see? She, she already knows. She's like, so. I think we need to, like, grow our family. You know what I'm saying? So let's try for a baby. Um... I don't know. I just, they have enough room because I don't think Dirk is going to move back home when he gets done with college. I think he's going to, you know, purchase his own house and start his own family. And Cassandra just, she wants a little girl. And fingers crossed that we have a little girl this time. Fingers crossed that she gets pregnant. Let's listen out for the little noise. The little baby rattle, whatever it's called. Okay, all I'm hearing is a freaking cat over here trying to wake our child up that's so annoying and I hear flies but I did not hear any do 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 which I don't think she's pregnant but you know what that's okay we'll try again later we'll try again next time <laughs> there's always tomorrow but anyways guys since everybody's going to sleep and this, we kind of accomplished what I was kind of hoping for in this part, which was Damon aging up. And, you know, I, what I didn't know I was aiming for, you know, just growing this family. We added a cat, Damon grew up, and we're trying for baby number two. So, yeah, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment all your suggestions and all that down below. Do you think they should have another baby? Let me know down below. Subscribe if you have not. And with that being said, I will talk to y'all next time. Bye. Don't wanna wake up, I might be dreaming